This series presents the non-dual wisdom of the Avatar Gita. Ramana Maharshi often quoted from the Avatar Gita and was widely regarded to exemplify its teaching. So listen, reflect, and deeply meditate. Know yourself. This is Richard Clark. Today, I will read from chapter 1, verses 4 through 7. These verses are on the nature of the self. Verse 4. Verily, the one self is all. Free from differentiation and non-differentiation. Neither can it be said, it is, nor it is not. What a great mystery! 5. This is the whole substance of Vedanta. This is the essence of all knowledge, theoretical and intuitional. I am the Atman, by nature impersonal and all-pervasive. 6. That God who is the self in all, impersonal and changeless, like unto space, by nature, purity itself, verily, verily, that I am. 7. I am pure knowledge, imperishable, infinite. I know neither joy nor pain. Whom can they touch? My comments in the Avatrit Gita attributed to Dattatreya, there are several verses that reflect the essence of Advaita Vedanta as understood and experienced by Ramana Maharshi. Let's explore these verses. 4. Verily, the one self is all, free from differentiation and non-differentiation. Neither can it be said, it is, nor it is not. What a great mystery! This verse points to the fundamental nature of the self, which is equated with Brahman, the vast absolute. The self is all-encompassing, transcending both differentiation and non-differentiation. It is beyond all concepts and descriptions, beyond the duality of existence and non-existence, beyond the mind and words. The verse emphasizes the inexpressible nature of the self. 5. This is the whole substance of Vedanta. This is the essence of all knowledge, theoretical and intuitional. I am the Atman, by nature impersonal and all-pervasive. This verse declares that the essence of Vedanta can be summarized in the understanding, I am the Atman, by nature impersonal and all-pervasive. The realization that I am the Atman, the true self, is considered the essence of knowledge encompassing both intellectual understanding and direct experiential insight. The Atman is impersonal and all-pervasive, indicating its transcendence beyond individual identity. This is what is to be realized by spiritual practice. That God who is the self in all, impersonal and changeless, 
like unto space, by nature purity itself, verily, verily, that I am. This verse highlights the identification of the individual self with the divine self, with the universal self present in all beings. The self is impersonal, changeless, and pure, akin to space. By recognizing and realizing this divine nature within yourself, you attain the knowledge that you are none other than the eternal, unchanging self. This is self-realization. Seven, I am pure knowledge, imperishable, infinite. I know neither joy nor pain. Whom can they touch? In this verse, the speaker identifies themselves with pure knowledge beyond the limitation of the body and mind. The self is imperishable and infinite, transcending the realm of dualities. As the self, you are untouched by joy or pain, since these experiences belong to the realm of the temporary and ever-changing, and you are ever-changeless. This verse asserts the timeless nature of the self, unaffected by the fluctuations of the world. These verses from the Avatut Gita reflect the core principles of Advaita Vedanta as taught by Ramana Maharshi. They emphasize the non-dual nature of reality, the identity of the individual self with the universal self, and the ultimate transcendence of all limitations and distinctions. The teachings invite you to inquire into your true nature and directly experience being beyond words and concepts. These teachings are to be realized, not just understood by the mind. So inquire, know yourself, and be always free and at peace. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this Ramana Maharshi video, subscribe, like, and send me a comment.